Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have another example of a rather complicated combination of capacitors in parallel and series combinations. And what we're trying to do here is find the total capacitance, or also called the equivalent capacitance of that circuit. In other words, what would be the single capacitor that could replace that combination of capacitors? In this case, we're going to assume that the capacitance of each is exactly the same. We'll just call it equal to C, whatever number of farads that may be. So where do we start? Well, what pops out is I see these two capacitors in parallel, and I know that in parallel, capacitors are easy to add, so I'm going to start by taking these two capacitors and adding them together. When we do, of course, C plus C gives us 2C, so that one can be replaced by a single equivalent capacitor equal to 2C, and that means we're going to redraw the circuit now with that one change. So here we have the original capacitor over here, we have this capacitor. Now these two in parallel will now be reduced to a single capacitor here, connected to that capacitor, and then here we have another branch coming out to here, and then these are connected together like this. So the only change we've made is that we've turned these two capacitors into this single capacitor right here. Sometimes it helps to draw little circles around what you're working on so that you can see that, well, everything else stays exactly the same except that one item in the circuit that is changing. So these are still capacitors equal to C, but these two, since we're adding them together and they're in parallel, in parallel we know that C1 plus C2, so that becomes a 2C capacitor. Next, we have these three here that are in series on the single branch. What I'm going to do now is we're going to add these three together. Since they're in series, we have to add the inverses together. In other words, here we can say that 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. And because there's more than 2, we cannot convert that into a product over the sum equation. We're stuck with this equation. So these three added together becomes 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C1, which is C, plus 1 over C2, which is 1 over 2C, plus 1 over C. All right, to add the right side together, we need a common denominator, which means we're going to multiply here the top and the bottom by 2, and here the top and the bottom by 2. And so now this becomes 1 over C total is equal to, the common denominator now is 2C, and in the numerator we have 2 plus 1 plus 2, which is 5, which means that if we now take the inverse of that, we can now see that C total is going to be equal to 2 over 5C. And that would be the equivalent or total capacitance of these three capacitors together. So now let's go ahead and draw, redraw the circuit here with that one change. And notice that each time you want to redraw the circuit, keeping everything else the same. I guess I'm going to kind of add that here. So we end up with this one capacitor. This one is still there. Now those three have now combined into a single capacitor. We still have the one on the bottom. They come together. And then we have this capacitor right here. So the only thing that has changed is that these three have now combined into a single capacitor right here. Notice that the single capacitor has capacitance of 2 over 5C. The one on the bottom is still C. The one over here is still C. And the one over there is still C as well. All right. Now the next step. Again, you can see that these two are now in, in parallel. And we can therefore add those together. So we're going to add these two capacitors together right here and turn those into a single capacitor. So when we do that, our equation is going to look like this, or I should have my circuit should look like this. We have this capacitor. These two will now be combined into a single capacitor, and then we still have that one. So this one has capacitance C. This one has capacitance C. And these two combined, C plus 2 fifths C. That's 1 plus 2 fifths. That's 7 fifths. So this is 7 fifths C. Realizing that these two have now been combined into this single capacitor. And finally, 
I can take those three which are in series, combine them into a single capacitor using the same technique again. So here we can say that 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. And that becomes 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C1, which is 1 over C, plus 1 over C2. Well, we have 7C over 5, and put that on the denominators, that would be 1 over 7 fifths C. It's just better to write it like that, so 7 fifths C. And then uh, we can say plus 1 over C here. Now what I'm going to do is bring the 5 to the numerator. So 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C plus 5 over 7C plus 1 over C. And then you realize that the common denominator is 7C, so we're going to multiply there, the top and the bottom by 7, and here the top and the bottom by 7. If we now come over here, we can then say that 1 over C total is equal to 7 over 7c, so the denominator is going to be 7c. And in the numerator, we're going to have 7 plus 5 plus 7, or 1 over c total is equal to 19 over 7c. So finally, c total is going to be c times 7 over 19, or 719c. And that's the equivalent or total capacitance of that original kind of mean-looking circuit. But you can see that if you take it one step at a time, look for your parallel and series and parallel and series combinations, you can reduce it down to a single capacitor. The single capacitor will look like this. This is the equivalent circuit to that circuit right there, where this is equal to 7 over 19C. And that's how it's done.